I'd like to show you some of the work I'm doing connecting things up to a federated wiki. And, and this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. This is a little uh, a computer board, uh, kind of like an Arduino. This one's called a Teensy, uh, popular in the hacker spaces that uh, I hang out. This one has a, a little uh, a flash card, 4 gigabytes of storage attached to it and a digital thermometer, so this could be a, a, a data recorder. Uh, it also has a USB port on it, and I like to stream programs uh, into that port, and what I'd like to show you uh, today is uh, some uh, uh, plugins I've built that uh, support that. The, uh, all of these that I have, I, I put a little interpreter right down here on the, the board that interprets a simple language that I call Texzyme. Texzyme has very simple commands like I for input and O for output. So you just stream uh, sentences in a string of characters and it will do things. So this is the uh, uh, the one that I would uh, like to show you today. This has the cord hooked up to it, and uh, the uh, the USB is uh, connected to the the, uh, 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 the the Express version of the server, uh, and and uh, Express uh, node turns out to be pretty sweet for running plugins both client side and server side and connecting between those uh, with a, a web socket. So it gives me a nice low latency uh, bi-directional communication. So this is the uh, documentation that describes uh, this plugin and, and here's an example. This one, uh, whenever the page opens it asks the little computer to explain what my version of microcontroller is there and then it uses the V command to print that version. Here it says an AT Mega 32U4 and that's, uh, that's what that little chip is inside. Uh, so we've already done a turnaround uh, to this computer. Uh, in the documentation I do mention uh, other things like here is a, a list H says, tell me all the commands you can do, so we can just see what the computer says. It says what commands are available, and, and here's the list. If you don't happen to have a computer connected or a, a little teensy, uh, I, I, I made a copy of the list, and you can see the kind of commands that I stream to this. Uh, more importantly, I've uh, uh, created some examples. First, you should notice all those are lowercase, and in the plugin, I use uppercase to talk to the plugin. So the uppercase commands are uh, executed client side and it manages the transmission of TechSign programs to the server and from the server onto this device. So, so here are some examples, of course, uh, what anybody does with a little microcontroller. There's an LED on here and you want to make it blink. So this is the, uh, uh, the blink program and when that starts it blinks uh, once a second, and, and this is what that looks like. It says here, every second, uh, send down a command to select the right pin, output a 1, wait 40 milliseconds, uh, output a 0, and call that a blink. Uh, it also says every time the thumb moves over a data set, send down an even shorter blink. So here it is blinking every second, and it says here it's receiving the word blink, so we know what's going on. But as I scrub over this data, we see that we get uh, those uh, kind of faint little, uh, uh, very short blinks uh, continuously. And so that's all being mixed in because we're sending two kinds of programs down to the device. Now, uh, one thing I also have on here is a speaker. It's a little piezoelectric speaker. And so let's try this program. This program sends Morse code. And uh, so, so it's kind of an interesting program in that I define uh, client side a bunch of words like how to send Morse code. And here you can see it's showing me the stack as it runs through that macro calling, macro calling, macro calling, macro until it, it finishes. So the program says here on open, 
uh, uh, turn on the transmitter and send out a call. And then every minute after that, just send out a shortened call, which we call an ident or identification in uh, uh, ham radio. So this is this is ham radio stuff being done uh, with with TechZyme and uh, Federated Wiki. So uh, to kind of pile on uh, more things here, let me let me show you a, a neat little application. We'll just let that run to completion. This one, this one uh, controls this chip. It started out, it turned on the colon, and it says every minute, or no, every second, update the seconds in the display. So this is writing seconds to uh, those last two digits. It also wrote the colon. And this one also listens to the thumb. And so when I scroll over on data and that, it, it puts the data position in the first digit. And this is just showing, again, this idea that I could have different programs talking to different resources. Here, different registers in the same part. And it's all getting mixed together through the uh, web sockets, going to the uh, node server and on to the USB and so forth. Fin finally, uh, one thing I like to do is, is here I'm sending just short little bursts, uh, a, a, a high and then a low, and it, and it sounds like a click coming out of the speaker. And this again, once a second. And, and so in this program, I say every second output a pulse and then collect the samples. That's the ident and the, uh, on the minute. Uh, and then collect some samples. Uh, here it says sample on uh, 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 A to D converter channel 11, and P says print that result back up the USB all the way here to Wiki. So when this runs, we can see we get, we're also getting the blink back message there, but we're getting a number. Let's, let's just uh, stop that blink here. If I say, you know, just reload the thing, with, and, and that way we'll know what we're talking about. So now we're doing the ticks and we're getting just the data. And if I double click this, I can see what the data looks like. So this is uh, every time, every second I get a new set of data. So that data is changing. But what's cool is that data that's coming off of this chip, I just, when I get it back into the client, I say, well, send that out in case anybody's interested. Like here is that D3 line program that I used to look at, I still can, look at the uh, temperature in my backyard over a day. Here I'm looking at the, the vibrating of that speaker, which is ringing like a bell. It's ringing like a bell, but it's ultrasonic. I can't hear it. But here I say take a sample every 100 microseconds. And those are the samples. This is the decay of the bell and uh, the frequency there. And uh, uh, here's, here's a picture. I did hook a re regular oscilloscope up. So uh, that's what it looks like on a regular oscilloscope. And it looks pretty much the same. So we've, we've uh, built an oscilloscope out of the Texzyme, uh, plug in uh, a little uh, device to test, and uh, the uh, uh, D3 graphics package that we've always had. So I think it's a pretty powerful combination.